Hey guys, here we are. I'm just out in the boat tinkering around a little bit. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a run through of what I'm about to get into. So I've bought myself some hardcore LED uh, RGB strip lights for the deck. So I'm gonna be installing them pretty much on a, both sides down the gunnels and either side of the back of the transom. One near the live bait tank to light that up at night so we know what we're grabbing in the live bait tank and one on the other side just near the uh, little bin that I put in because I'm a grub, so. <laughs> Let's uh, get into it. This is the kit that the LED lights come in. Open it up, we've got our user guide, blah blah blah, words and such. A little diagram of what it comes with. Um, just disregard that really, you don't really need that too much. Unless you're uh, doing it on your own. Let's get all this junk out of the way, hey? There's our light strips, 10 of each. Oh. 10 all up, sorry. Get this all out of the box, eh? So this is all we're gonna need for now. So we've got the box. This is what your remote tells the lights to do, basically. You power in, power to your lights. What you're gonna wanna do is grab this little cigarette socket side and this is the one you're going to want to chop. So you want to going to get rid of these little terminal clamps and you're going to put your connectors onto these two. What I was going to do is use this and just hardwire this straight in, but I'm going to keep this because this has an inline fuse up in here. You can you can still chop this, but all you're going to want to do is just install a, a separate inline fuse on this and then your, your connector on the end. But I'm going to keep this just to make it a little bit easier connecting and disconnecting if I need to. All right, so get yourself some snips. Cut one, cut two, get rid of them, we don't need them. Make sure you remember which side's which. This thing comes in handy, so try and keep that on there if you can. Get your uh, strippers. Strippy. Strippy one, strippy two, just like that. So you're going to want to get your heat shrink on there first before you put any of your keck connectors on. What I'm using today are these two little guys. This one's just for my earth, just to go onto one of the bolts that's on the hull at the moment and a little connector to go on the back of my switch. So get that one on there. Get your crimpers. Crimpy, crimpy. Beautiful. Alright, if you guys can't get your big fat hands up under the console to get your uh, wires on the back of the, the uh, switches, then what you're going to want to do is take it out. There's some tabs on the back that you're going to want to press in as you take it out, but that way you can get it out and get to the back of your switches, just like I needed to do. Alright, important rule here guys, just before you get started doing any wiring on your boats, make sure you turn your isolator switches off just to avoid any shortages or electro electrocutions possibly. So I'll uh, go back here and just switch it off. Whilst I'm down here guys, trying to hide my wires, I might show you where I've actually installed all of my wiring for the uh, switch. So basically you just find the back of your switches. Mine's that far left one there. Bottom red one is my power off of my switch. And then the negative wire, there's actually a little like a bus board just up there. So that bottom negative is where I ran the negative wire. Alrighty, so we've got that main cigarette socket wired into the back of the switch and earthed. I'm just going to do a little test run. I've turned the isolator switch back on. Got everything hooked up. Power, power into the box, out to my light. And we're just going to give it a test. And I'll go ahead and turn the switch on and see how we go. Okay, so that initial flicker was just power running through to the uh, system. What you're going to need to do is grab your remote and basically just turn it on and you're ready to go. 
and then all you got to do is hide your wiring, install the box, and uh, get to sticking your light strips around the boat, and you're good to go. Here we are, guys. Finally got the lights done. They're in. Seven colors to choose from. My favorite part is the live well. Beauty, look at that, lit up.